Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Irenaeus, a bishop and martyr who, by proclaiming the truth, worked for the unity and peace in the Church. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who called the Bishop St. Irenaeus to confirm true doctrine and the peace of the Church, grant, we pray, through his intercession, that being renewed in faith and charity, we may always be intent on fostering unity and concord through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Abraham and the men who had visited him by the terebinth of Mamre 
set out from there and looked down toward Sodom. Abraham was walking with them to see them on their way. The Lord reflected, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do now that he is to become a great and populous nation and all the nations of the earth are to find blessing in him? Indeed, I have singled him out that he may direct his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just so that the Lord may carry into effect for Abraham the promises he made about him. Then the Lord said, The outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great, and their sin is so grave, that I must go down and see whether or not their actions fully correspond to the cry against them that comes to me. I mean to find out. While the two men walked on farther toward Sodom, the Lord remained standing before Abraham. Then Abraham drew nearer to him and said, Will you sweep away the innocent with the guilty? Suppose there were fifty innocent people in the city. Would you wipe out the place rather than spare it for the sake of the fifty innocent people within it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to make the innocent die with the guilty, so that the innocent and the guilty would be treated alike? Should not the judge of all the world act with justice? The Lord replied, If I find fifty innocent people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Abraham spoke up again. See how I am presuming to speak to my Lord, though I am but dust and ashes. What if there are five less than fifty innocent people? Will you destroy the whole city because of those five? He answered, I will not destroy it if I find forty-five there. But Abraham persisted, saying, What if only forty are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it for the sake of forty. Then Abraham said, Let not my Lord grow impatient if I go on. What if only thirty are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it if I can find but thirty there. Still Abraham went on, Since I have thus dared to speak to my Lord, what if there are no more than twenty? He answered, I will not destroy it for the sake of the twenty. But he still persisted, Please, let not my Lord grow angry if I speak up this last time. What if there are at least ten there? He replied, For the sake of those ten, I will not destroy it. The Lord departed as soon as he had finished speaking with Abraham. And Abraham returned home. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. The Lord is kind and merciful. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. The Lord is kind and merciful. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw a crowd around him, he gave orders to cross the other shore. A scribe approached and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. Another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But Jesus answered him, Follow me and let the dead bury their dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, setting standards is important in our life. Because standards help maintain the quality of our life, of our work, of our output. Standards help us not to succumb to mediocrity. That is why in work or in life, we set standards. Even in relationships with one another, we set certain standards. Minsan, mataas ang standard natin sa ibang aspeto ng ating buhay. Minsan naman, ibinababa natin ang standards natin sa ibang bahagi ng ating buhay. Our readings today make us realize that even in our Christian life, God has set a high standard. In the Gospel, Jesus talks of discipleship to the scribe and to his disciples. And Jesus tells them that discipleship demands a certain standard. It has a very high cost. To follow Jesus means to meet the high standard of discipleship. This is also what we see in our first reading today. In our first reading, we heard Abraham conversing with God. He was in fact haggling with God. Para siyang nakikipagtawaran sa Diyos. He was asking God about the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Tinatanong niya sa Diyos, kapag may 50 na matutuwid at mabubuting tao sa Sodom at sa Gomorrah, gugunawin mo ba? Sabi ng Diyos, for the sake of the 50, I will not destroy it. E kung 45 lang ang matuwid at mabuting tao, gugunawin mo ba? Sabi ng Diyos, hindi. E kung 30 lang, hindi pa rin. Kung 20 lang, hindi pa rin. Kung 10 lang, sabi ng Diyos, hindi pa rin. The bottom line of that conversation is simply, if there are people in Sodom and Gomorrah who will meet the standards of God in terms of goodness and uprightness, God will not destroy their land. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are given an example of someone who strived to, met, to meet 
the standards of God. Saint Irenaeus, who lived in the 3rd century and became bishop and later on was martyred. Saint Irenaeus, as a bishop, fought against many false teachings, against heresies, especially the heresy of Gnosticism. Saint Irenaeus taught the, the truth because he believed that by teaching the truth, there will be unity and peace in the church. That is why, true to his name, Irenaeus, which means peace, he worked for peace by teaching the truth. Magkakaroon lang ng kapayapaan kung merong katotohanan. And that was the standard of his life. And because of that, he was martyred by the emperor. My dear brothers and sisters, let us check our standards in life. Baka sa ibang tao ang taas-taas ng standard natin, pero baka sa sarili natin napakababa ng ating standard. Minsan tinitingnan ko rin ang aking sarili. Baka pag sa ibang tao, baka pag sa mga politiko, ang taas-taas ng standard ko in terms of morality. Pero baka kapag sa sarili ko, ang baba naman ng aking standard. Yung mga hindi ko matanggap sa iba, katang tinatanggap ko sa aking sarili. Baka minsan ganyan din tayo. Baka kapag sa ibang tao, ang taas ng ating standard, we expect too much from them. Dapat kayong namumuno, ganito. Kayong mga tao sa simbahan, ganito. Dapat moral, dapat upright. Pero kapag namumuno sa ibang aspeto, sa business o sa gobyerno, ang baba naman ng ating standard. Pwede na yan, kahit na immoral ang pamumuhay, tatanggapin natin. Check our standards. Are we living up to the standards set to us by God? Are we meeting the standards of discipleship? Today, let us ask the Lord through the intercession of St. Irenaeus that we may always meet the standards of God so that we may be rewarded by God here on earth and even more in heaven. Please stand. We bring our needs before God our Father, whose Son has gone before us and has called us to follow Him. With confidence, we pray for the grace to accept that calling. And for every petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the leaders of the church and all those engaged in preaching the Word of God may persevere in their commitment to follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our community may be renewed from day to day through faith in the Word of God, calling them to a better life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those of us who have lost hope because of our since may realize that Christ, our leader, walks with us and carries our burden. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are weakened by sickness or infirmity may be assured of God's comfort through the care and support of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the dead who follow Jesus may enter God's presence forever in heaven. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, in our desire to follow in the footsteps of your Son, make us one in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice we offer you with joy on the heavenly birthday of St. Irenaeus bring you glory, O Lord and instill in us a love of the truth so that we may keep the church's faith inviolate and her unity secure through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Irenaeus poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please. 
Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Irenaeus and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Through these sacred mysteries, we pray, O Lord, give us in your compassion an increase of that faith which brought glory to the Bishop St. Irenaeus as he maintained it even until death. And may the same faith bring to us who truly follow it justification in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah.